This is the solution for the Enigma puzzle. You'll see that I have three pieces here. The, the one piece that I'm going to name is this piece. You can see here it has kind of that um, thin groove along here. We're going to call that our base. And most of what we do, we're going to do in relation to that base. That's the way I think of it, how I shift things around that base. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece here and I'm going to rotate it down so that the small space in here slides along the groove and it comes into the base. All right, so it's hooked on the base now. And now I'm going to twist it around and swing it over top. So you can kind of see that this, it has a large hole in here and that's gonna come over the top. To come over the top, I have to jiggle this piece a little bit. But when it comes over, what the only thing you can do at this point, what will naturally follow, is that this will slide in there. And what you end up with is this piece hooked around our base. So again, everything is kind of centered around the base. And then what I'm going to do is take this one to follow it. So both pieces here and here are around the base. And now what I'm going to try and do is to get them to switch. So this one here will move over to the left. This one will go over to the right. To do that, I have to flip this one over and then bring this piece like that. Now I have to flip this one back so that I can slide this along that groove. And you can see that opening there sliding along the groove. And when that happens, what happens is the tail end of both pieces go through that. And you have, again, two pieces hanging off of the base. And trying to get them apart, we're pretty much done with this one now. It can come right off. And this one here is a little bit more tricky. We have to flip it around inside the inside of the base and sort of shift it so that it comes this way. You can just kind of shift it back and forth and it'll go right in there without needing to click it in place or do anything forcing it to go. And then all you need to do is twist it around until, and I didn't really show that, but until the groove there or the opening will go along the groove and then it comes right apart. So that's how the three pieces come apart. To put the Enigma puzzle back together, again, I'm going to use this as my base and basically do the opposite of what I did in all the other steps. So I start by sticking this piece inside and then sliding it along our ridge. And you see, I did this right here on purpose so you can see that. When the tail ends, if you put them in like this, the tail ends will jam together. So you've got to be careful to put them in like this so that they're separated. And then you can just flip them around. And I like to kind of just have it hanging off of the base. This one here will then slide right into the base like that. And what we're going to do now is just to switch this one over to the left, this one over to the right. To do that, you, you take this and you go around. And you'll see right here that the small hole right there will go right along the ridge here. And when you're doing that, at the same time, the tail end of this piece needs to be going in. So you're kind of making those two motions at the same time. Then this piece gets spun around like that. And this one will go over top of the kind of the loop there of that. And what you end up with is, again, those two pieces sitting just like that, hanging off of the base. Because we're trying to put them together or um, connected together again, this one here, We'll go along there until it gets stuck, basically, up here at the, the tail of the base. And, that. and then I'm going to take this piece here, and it's going to essentially follow them all the way up there. And because I have the large circle there, or the large hole there, that is going to go right over the tail and the loop. And you end up with them all kind of mingled together. And this is the one step where it's all kind of together. It's a little confusing. 
The key thing you need to look for is the small little gap right there in this piece along the groove. And that's what goes together and then falls all together.